Hi, Hi plant, plant friends. friends. Welcome to my mom's tomato patch. Bloom and grow, YouTube show. Okay, plant friends, I'm back on Fiala Farm with Mama Fiala, head gardener and head farmer. And we are planting up my mom's tomato patch today. Welcome to my secret garden. <laughs> It's behind the azaleas and bushes, so no one who's walking by the street can see my tomatoes. Yes. It gets full sun. Most important, your tomatoes need sun. Lots of it. This ground here is a tiny patch of ground. It's about three feet by like 12. Eight. Okay, 12 feet, yeah. Three feet by 12, but I will be able to plant so mm. many tomatoes. <laughs> Behind here, I'll plant probably about 10, 15 tomato plants. Um, the ground has suffered the winter, and if you look at it, it's, it's pretty dusty looking. What we're gonna do is put this nice, uh, we're gonna amend the soil with this nice biotone <laughs> fertilizer, okay? Biosphoma Organics. Yes. Um, it's called Biotone Starter. Okay, Biotone Starter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle it completely all over the ground first to mm -hmm. give a nice little vitamin boost to my, my dirt that's tired from the winter. And I think it's important to remember if you're growing the same plants in the same patch year after year, that soil or dirt is going to be uh, nutrient de deprived because tired. the plant, yeah, tired because the plants are using up all those nutrients. So it's really important to amend your soil and to make sure you're replenishing it before you put your new plants in the ground. All right, so we've prepped the soil and now mom has selected a wide variety of tomato plants. So mom, what do you look for when you're choosing tomatoes? I look for a healthy green, lush leaf, okay? Um, I don't like it to be too leggy, although I do have one that's kind of leggy. It was the only one of the kind. Of kind. It was called a Juliet, but I, it kind of talked to me, so I bought it. We'll see what grows. It's supposed to be a red, um, it's like a red plum tomato, which would be good for sauce. So I have one of those. I generally do buy two of every type so that they have a friend in my garden and I know what I'm picking when I go to pick it. I also like sometimes if I'm going to the garden center, like look at this one. I got two plants in right. one pot. Those are two full tomato stalks. So for $3.98 that I bought the tomato plant for, I actually got two tomato plants. So when I see that and the tomato looks healthy, I try to do that. Okay. Okay. She has a nice long stem. I do wet all my tomatoes before yeah, we just gave all the tomatoes I a big water. A, a, a bath, mm -hmm. a morning, some breakfast water, a bath. And when I plant it, I try to plant it a little horizontal so I get the dirt on the base of the hairy stem. So all of these hairs on the tomato plant can actually become something called adventitious roots. So you want to plant your tomato probably, well plant it probably this much under the soil. Right. So if Because you all of these will root out. And right. so mom, you like to plant it at a little bit of an incline to get more surface area under right. the soil. But we have beautifully turned the dirt with our biotone Bio <laughs> <coughs> manure. Hashtag sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> and we've mixed it all in and it's nice and loose. So we might be able to just plop this deep directly into the ground right. without turning it sideways. If your dirt is not beautifully turned and it's a little tough or you got clay at the base and you can't get it that deep, then you turn it sideways. But right. if you have loose dirt, go deep as far as you can. Yeah, and make sure you get, get a little more of the stem under the water, right. under the under the water, under the soil. All right, I think it's time to get planted. Mom. Let's get planted. Let's do it.
All right, only one of us can fit in here now, but as you can see, we plant, we amended the soil, we planted the tomatoes up, we made sure that we took those bottom leaves off to create more root growth. Um, planted everything up, we put stakes in the ground. So my mom puts a series of stakes like every, like about a foot apart in the garden. And then each plant, each tomato plant then gets an individual bamboo stake. So as the plants grow, they have a ton of things that we can fasten them to to help support the weight of the tomatoes. We gave everything a good water, and now it's time to just sit back and watch the tomatoes grow and establish. It's good to get the stakes in the ground when you plant the tomatoes so the roots can establish and you don't further disrupt them. Also, the plants grow really fast, so get the stakes in the ground sooner or late, sooner before or later so the plants can grow up the stakes and you're not like wrestling a stake over like a half-grown tomato plant. All right, Mom, high five. The tomatoes are in the ground. Yep. Why don't you leave them off? Well, I'm so glad you all came to my secret garden today, the tomato patch, and I want you all to keep blooming and, and keep growing. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>